Hey, this is Niranjan here and today I'm going to create a video for you wherein I'll show you how you can get started with e-commerce by leveraging on other people's resources, all right? You need not spend anything on advertising. You need not send, spend anything on inventory. And in fact, you need not even risk the, the, the chance of kind of, you know, uh, having a warehouse or employees or any such thing, okay? I mean, this is by far the lowest hanging fruit when it comes to getting started with e-commerce and for the given the fact that you'll be working with some of the biggest brands this strategy actually uh, you know it, it's pretty much ensuring that you do not fail you cannot fail using this all right so let me get started what with with what the overview of it is okay so here we are going to use two of the most powerful e-commerce behemoths and we are going to take advantage of the price discrepancies of products in these two marketplaces okay now trust me it happens all the time when a particular product is priced differently on a, on a certain marketplace as against the other so in this particular case what we'll do is we'll do something called e-commerce arbitrage okay now as you know arbitrage means buying low and selling high so the idea is that you buy low from one marketplace and then sell high on the other one okay now when it comes to the marketplace of preference to sell it's always 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 amazon.com for me and i believe that should be the one that you go with the reason for that is very simple amazon has the biggest audience that trusts the brand so products listed on amazon will have much more traction and chance of selling will be much higher as against any other platform out there moreover you as a seller would have a much better chance of getting a higher price for your product as compared to any other marketplace okay so what we're doing here is we are going to do walmart to amazon arbitrage okay walmart has uh, certain products which are listed and you know they are discounted for some reason or the other and then like our idea is to find those products that are known to sell and see if they are available for a profit and then take them and list them on Amazon. Once we have listed them on Amazon, then uh, if, if we make a sale, then what we do is we come back to Walmart and place the order on behalf of the customer and have the product shipped from Walmart to the customer, to the end user or to the, uh, to, to the end customer, okay? So let me show you how you can go about uh, this process all by yourself without uh, kind of, you know, without having to waste any further time, okay? The first thing is you need to know what to look for, right? So uh, when when I do this kind of thing, the preference or the solutions that I look for is I always always am on the lookout for something where wherein they say that you know there's a clearance sale or a discount or or, or some such thing. Okay, so you just look for that and then you go to this this tab, saving center. Okay, now in this saving center, what you can do is you can look each of these. Okay, each of these features you can have a look at them or you can go by the categories okay now home and home decor is a good category on amazon where you know you can easily sell a few products so the idea is to find the discounted products that we can sell on amazon so for that i would ideally like to have about five to ten dollars on a minimum so that you know there is a decent uh, margin on on the products that are being sold okay so let me quickly look at uh, you know uh, maybe kitchen and dining I normally avoid products that have a very high value. For example, like you know, um, you know, products that run into uh, multiple thousands of dollars in sale sale value. I typically avoid them. Rather, I go for something we call quick sale. Okay. So here, let's see uh, what's the uh, deals. Uh, what are the deals that we're getting here? Now, in this one, you see that this is a bestseller product. It's an instant pot, and it's available for. $69 whereas the actual price of this product or the MRP I shouldn't say actual price because that is misleading okay so the MRP of this product is $99 okay so let's do this right we have a nice $30 margin over there but then you need to understand this numbers can be misleading just because there is a discount of $30 does not mean that you'll be profitable uh, on by, by selling it on amazon.com because you also need to understand that Amazon marketplace has its own pricing dynamics. So we got to make sure that on Amazon, this 
particular product is selling for more than 69 in order for us to make uh, make a profit on that all right now the one another thing I would like to draw your attention to is always look out for this free pickup today option okay if this is pickup that basically means you will have to walk into the store and pick it up and then have to have it delivered to Amazon not only that is going to that is going to consume your time but also it will uh, kind of you know uh, have an additional cost associated with it because when you ship to Amazon or ship to the customer you will have an additional shipping cost okay so now if this is just uh, a free pickup then I would not be interested in it but I see that this is available with free shipping and that is what I'm interested in if Walmart is going to ship this product to the end customer who purchases from me on the Amazon marketplace then happy to do it okay in case there is a uh, uh, you you do not have free shipping option I would suggest when you evaluate your total cost of purchasing this product factor in the free, uh, the shipping cost as well let's say the shipping cost five dollars in case here the shipping cost was five dollars I would consider the total expense to be eighty nine dollars for the product and five dollars for the shipping that would make it $94 in expenses all right then I would move to amazon.com and see if I can make a profit by selling it for anything more than 94 now I'm not going to sell it for 95 or 96 you know we need to have a decent enough margin all right so to make it worth our while so what I would tend to do is price it about maybe if I'm purchasing it at 90, $94 I would price it at 100 which would give me a $6 profit or maybe 104 or 105 something like that okay now let's go to Amazon and see if we can sell this for a profit okay right so as you can see um, this particular product is being sold for 79.95 okay even though you're getting it for $30 discount here um, it's not exactly selling for 99 it's rather selling for 79 dollars okay so when you're selling this for 79 dollars you have um, you have a decent 10 dollar margin on top of that so whenever a customer purchases from you on Amazon you can actually buy it from here and then ship it directly to the customer who buys this from you okay now there are a couple of other dynamics that go into it so this is a profitable product there is no doubt about it um, one other thing that you might want to know is that you will be competing with Amazon when uh, you uh, you know uh, when you sell this because if Amazon is selling it, it it is going to be extremely competitive okay because Amazon is going to price the product pretty low so that uh, you know you can uh, it will be difficult for you to compete so if I were you and if I see that Amazon is selling it selling the product itself most probably on many occasions I would try to avoid that because you know there is no dearth of deals really so you can find another product where Amazon is not competing so your product does not lie around there and you have a better chance of making a sale now since you do not have any inventory since you do not have any risk I would not mind going ahead and listing it and checking it out how it works okay one other thing which is very important especially when you are working on electronic products like these is you have to check out and make sure that the sizes are appropriate for example if you see that this is a six quart product is your purchased product also of six quart or is it lesser than that if it is lesser than that then you have to check out whether that particular product is selling for the same price now in this particular description as you can see this is six quart so you should not be worried about it because you know you are getting it for 69 and you are uh, you know uh, getting this uh, on uh, you will be able to sell this on Amazon for 79 so this is a profitable product I would not mind listing on Amazon okay now this process can be a little time consuming okay I'll be very honest with you this can be time consuming because we were in luck that this particular uh, product was profitable for us but you cannot be rest assured that that's what is going to happen every single time so this one here is a branded KitchenAid uh, stand mixer which is available for $279 now it does not state what is the actual price uh, or the MRP for that product okay so it's it's kind of difficult 
to to uh, understand and estimate that so what I'll do is I'll quickly have a look at it here okay on Amazon right and you see that this is available for 229 it's not of the same color so again I would be conscious about the color as well uh, you know sometimes some products vary with the color also uh, the prices vary with the color so I, I if I were you I would just make sure that the exact product in terms of exact capacity quantity and color is matching so this is not a not not the right product or not the exact product so I'll just skip it you know it, it's not something that I'd be interested in okay so let's just go back and have a quick look at another product and see if we can find a profitable one okay right I would stay away from the rollback options uh, you know if the company is rolling back I would just be a little cautious about it and I may not want to uh, kind of you know work with that so here is uh, you've got a Cuisinart coffee maker which is a good brand and you see that there is a $28 difference from the from the maximum retail price or the MRP of the product okay so if I can sell this I'm sorry about this so if I can sell this product for around $85 I should be able to make a tidy profit on this on Amazon now let's go ahead and copy this and check it on Amazon and see if this works okay right so as you can <clears throat> sorry as you can see this is the product that we are talking about this is the exact product here so 12 cup programmable coffee maker so let's go here this is the 12 cup programmable coffee maker so this is the exact product being sold by the same brand right it's being sold by Cuisinart so this is currently available for $72 okay I mean look uh, the thing is this is a high high value high quality product which has sold more than 3,000 uh, 3,000 uh, pieces and it's uh, available uh, and, and it comes with four star rating which is pretty good uh, for a consumer product to be very honest but the fact is you're selling this for $72 and here you are almost selling it for the same price so I would not go ahead and list this because there's no way I would be making a profit after uh, Amazon has taken the commission and kind of you know I'm making uh, some some money on top of it okay remember when you list it Amazon is going to take its commission on the listed price so you are going to lose a little bit of money to Amazon as well so you've got to factor that in your calculations as well okay so this is not a profitable product for us okay so this is how you can start leveraging on the price differences between the two marketplaces and make some serious change uh, you know in, in your uh, in your free time okay uh, let me quickly show you something else okay Wilton Rosanna Pansino Nerdy Nami's mixing ball okay so this is for the bakers okay so if you're into baking I mean not really I mean you know this is targeted at bakers but you need not be an expert at baking to sell this on Amazon do you so what you do is the only reason why I got interested in it is because I have a gap of about $14 within the MRP price okay so what I'm going to do here is go ahead and copy paste it here and then see how it works out okay now here's the thing um, I do not have anybody selling this product at all so you do not have this product selling here what that means is oh yeah sorry I think there is there's one uh, piece being sold here and it's available for $11 okay so obviously I would not be interested because I'm not making a profit on this product okay so this is how you do the research and this is how you find products that you can actually flip uh, using uh, you know uh, using uh, the price differences to make a tidy profit without really having any kind of advertising spend without really having um, without having the need of paying upfront remember you first get paid the product is sold on Amazon that money comes to your Amazon account and after that you start investing on the on, on the platform from where you're purchasing it okay that's how this entire thing works now as you saw like you know in this entire uh, process we found one profitable product and we checked about four or five of them okay so this is a time-consuming process okay this is not 
something that you can um, just sit for an hour and find hundreds of profitable flips okay that's just not possible the way you can automate this is by using some automation tools that are available which will save you a ton of time one of them is called Abimate, uh, which is a product that is launching today this is created by the Technic Force team which is known to create software applications for uh, marketers online marketers okay now uh, I'm I'm on the sales page of Abimate uh, what happens this is a WordPress plugin which basically in which you can search any product that you want on Walmart and see if it's profitable on Amazon it has a dashboard where it will kind of show you all the profitable products and you can from right from the dashboard you can uh, you know think talk about flipping uh, them for a profit okay so how cool is that I mean you know you don't have to flip around uh, the websites and uh, you know uh, check check each of each of the products whether they are profitable or not you can simply find products that are available on Walmart and see whether or not you will be making a tidy profit by selling it on Amazon all right so as the sales base says run a successful e-com business with no ads no inventory and no marketing even if you have never sold anything online before as much as I would like to tell you that this is hypey, this is not, okay? Uh, most online products and sales pages have this heading to be so hypey that they give you an impression that you're just going to make money out of thin air, but that's not how it works, right? In real life, you and me know there's a little bit of work involved, and yes, you can be smart and kind of, you know, put automation systems in place, but at the end of the day, you need to understand how the system works. But this one is not hypey at all. You don't need any ads because you are leveraging on the traffic that is there on the Amazon marketplace, okay? No inventory, that's true because you are in leveraging on the inventory that is available on the Walmart marketplace. No marketing, right? You do not have to do anything. All you have to do is use the software to research profitable products that you can buy low on Walmart and sell high on Amazon and then select those and start updating or put, uh, listing them on Amazon, all right? That's all you've got to do. So the sales page takes you through the various case studies that they have been doing and kind of, you know, just showing the, uh, showcasing how important and how big e-commerce is at the moment and why Amazon, Walmart to Amazon arbitrage is a viable option, okay? So this is very true that this arbitrage model is for beginners. So if you're a beginner, you really want to give this a, give this a shot because this is designed to work with the like you know with the least possible uh, red uh, you know red tapeism all right you can get started with this maybe within about an hour of getting the product okay and as i said earlier you can actually do it manually yes yourself but it is going to take you a lot of time this application or this wordpress plugin is going to make your life so easy you know you could just check hundreds of products hundreds of profitable finds within an hour or so of using this software all right so this is all about it and uh, I'm showing you the review page that I have received so this is not available right now for you to purchase it will be available uh, you know uh, later today in about uh, five hours from now so what I'll do is I'll set this up for you I will be uh, you know creating some bonuses the bonuses will be right below this video because this review video is going to go on the bonus page and there will be a lot of uh, you know bonuses that will be having for you on this page so I would strongly suggest you get it while it's still available and you get this one-time payment okay there is this monthly option but I really don't know why would you want to go for a monthly option when you can actually get this for a one-time payment all right so get this one one-time payment uh, use this uh, option to get uh, it for a one-time price and once you've done that, get started with, uh, you know, Walmart to Amazon arbitrage. All right. So click on the button below and uh, get Abimate along with my bonuses. Thank you.